Do you know how I like to finish off my evenings on the craft store? I'll tell you how I like to finish off my evenings, with some stamps, and not just any stamps. I like my stamps to be original stamps from Janie, and <laughs> Janie's here to help me look at them today. Janie, hello. Hello, nice hello. to meet you. Oh, and you as well. Yes. Yes, you've <laughs> we've waited very patiently, which is very nice of you. You've been busy though, uh, since we last saw you. I've seen you putting bits and pieces together. Yes, I've yeah. been very busy actually. Yeah, lots to yeah. show us in this hour. <laughs> yes. Uh, because you brought in a, a fantastic collection, haven't you, from your uh, original stamps collection here. We've got some lovely, lovely stamps. We're going to make our way along the counter here. And I noticed as well, some bookmaking kits as well. Indeed, yes. Well, I think some sold out earlier, but yeah, we're still, I think we've still got plenty. We've still yeah. got some, yeah. but not many because oh, it's okay. been very, very popular. <laughs> that's uh, Well, that's a sign that uh, you're doing something <laughs> right, uh, Janie. Now, um, shall we start off at the top here with uh, stamp set. This is an A5 and a double length stamp set that we've got here. It's Phileas Frog and Friends. And we've got Words. Is it Words Volume 1 or is it the whole set is Volume 1 there's going to be a Volume 2? How does there, that work? There will be a Volume 2, yeah. Ooh, of Phileas Frog or just of the uh, words? Of the words. Of the of words, the words yeah. okay. So yeah. the, the words is Volume 1. Phileas Frog and Friends is there as well. That's the A5. Um, he's cool, isn't he? I like that. So Phileas Frog... I'm just reading from um, your, your notes here. He's a happy frog that travels the hidden garden drinking his toadstool juice <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and having fun with his friends. <laughs> do, do you know what? That just sounds like me on a, on a weekend. Well, that's just normal, isn't it? I love isn't my it? toadstool juice going out <laughs> you with my can't friends. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, this is, a, this is part of your style, which is a hand-drawn style, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I draw everything the old-fashioned way, pen to paper. Great. Um, and then I was showing on the earlier show actually some of my original sketches, how it kind of evolves. Okay, and um, how, how do you come up with the ideas for this kind of it's thing? It's my crazy brain. Your crazy brain! <laughs> Um, no, um, yeah. I would say a lot of people that follow me know that I live in Somerset and I live on a retired farm. It's a nature garden. Oh. Um, I grew up there, so, you know, all of my inspiration has been the natural world, really. Right. Um, and I started to see it as kind of a hidden magical garden. Yeah. So then my mind starts to wander to the little characters and oh. what they could get up to. You, so, you yeah, kind of need to live somewhere like that to get the inspiration. I think yeah. that's what authors do that a lot, don't they? They yeah. travel to the place that they're writing about because yeah. it just makes it easier to, to imagine. It's funny how the moment you said Somerset, I could really hear the accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really yes, well. It's thinking, oh, where's, where's Janie from? <laughs> that's where Janie's yeah. from. It's like me whenever I go back to Birmingham. Them, I suddenly sound really brummy, but not necessarily when I'm, yeah. a, when I'm away from it. Uh, you should anyway, hear me. let's get on with it, <laughs> shall we? Um, so this is, uh, this is our stamp here. If I show you th this here, this is our, um, uh, our Phileas Frog and his friends here on the A5 size stamp. Really like that one. Um, and uh, we've also got our words stamp as well. And this is, uh, there we go, volume one in a uh, ten part uh, saga, no <laughs> doubt. Is it a good story? Or does well, you, <laughs> you, put it all together? you can make up all sorts of things. So there is behind there somewhere <laughs> some phrases and things that I've put together so it, it, it can make up all sorts of random things. So, you know, once there's more volumes, yes, you can make your whole book. Yeah, it spawned a <laughs> sequel, says Marcus. Yeah, there's the frog sport. Yeah, so, so ha, it's ha, ha. and apparently it's riveting. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's not bad, actually. That's actually that's, quite a good one. That's quite a good that's one. That's quite a good one. Um, all right, so there you go. That's, that's our A5 <laughs> and double uh, length stamp sets there. It's uh, 28 98 normally. We've got it for you for 25 98 I've got some samples to show you here. So there is, there's Phileas uh, on our card here. It's coloured in. It's uh, just Phileas on his own with his um, scally cap juice. Is that Daily his special? Cap juice, yeah. That's, that's his toadstool juice. That's one of them, yeah. He's also got blue green slime head. Oh, right. That actually is a is it, um, is it toxic, toxicating the, uh, the, the juice well, or is it, uh, is it safe to. We can't. I, we can't I think only frogs can drink it. Frogs right, and okay. snails, yeah. All right, I so. don't think it's safe for anyone else. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hardcore. Uh, what's this stuff here? So this is blushing. Um, what dappling. juice? Da dappling. Dappling juice. <laughs> God, he's really going for it. He's on a real <laughs> bender here, isn't he? Um, then we've got our um, we've got a butterfly at the top here as well. We've got a blue green slime head juice as well. Yeah. Oh, he must be absolutely wrecked. Uh, <laughs> stalls are here as well. Love that. Love the design as well. Love the night sky. Uh, we've also got this one here as well. This is on. Um, is this on MDF or on canvas? It, canvas and board. So yeah. Chelsea did this one. Yeah. 
So she's part of my uh, craft club, and the one that you previously showed was by um, Frankie. Ah, okay. So, um, yeah, on this one, she's used one of the canvases and the background patterns that are in the um, collage bundle. Yeah. And kind of layered it up, tried to get in as many stamps as she could. <laughs> yeah, she's done a good job. She's got them all on there, hasn't she? Uh, we can see Phileas once again there. And this, over half the stock has gone on this stamp set, by the way. Uh, this is the other part of the stamp set, our uh, DL double length uh, words, volume one. Uh, there will be more volumes. Look, dreams and blessings. Uh, we have magic on there, flower, fairy. The moon told me to do it. Did it? <laughs> yes. So I w <laughs> you can never trust a full moon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I worry about you, Janie. Do I really you? sitting in your yeah. garden drinking your toadstool juice at night, thinking the moon told me to do it. It's very, That's very. That's my excuse for everything. The it's moon told me to do it. It's, yeah, yeah. I'm going to use that one later, actually. Uh, believe me. Um, now that is twenty five ninety eight five three two zero two nine. Now we're going to move on to our midnight traveller stamp set here. This is again A five uh, sized here. Have a little look at this. This is part of the uh, pen to paper stamp collection. Again, you've hand-drawn the images here, Janie, the old-fashioned way. And you've got, um, you've got an owl on here, I see, with separate wings, so you can stamp uh, the character sitting or flying. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So I, I originally wanted the flying owl, but to get the detail that I wanted, it would have been a massive stamp. And I thought not everyone's going to want a stamp that size. Mm. So I thought, actually, if we take the wings separately and I design the owl in such a way that he looks like he's got his wings kind of you know, down by his body so he can comfortably sit there. Yeah. And then you can add the wings in any configuration you want. Right. At, you know, any point of flight. Um, so you just winged it? That's a, it's not no, my that's fault. Not, that's a bad one. Please, Janie, don't shoot the messenger. I am literally <laughs> just saying what they're saying in my ear. So There's if I say any should... bad puns, <laughs> if I say any good puns, them, out. Yeah. <laughs> if I say any good puns, they're mine. Okay. Any bad ones right. from the gallery. Okay. This is the actual stamp <laughs> set. I'll put it on a black background so you can see it here. Uh, and uh, oh, is, that, is that like a clock face as well you've got there? Um, yeah, so it's yeah. a compass. We oh, were, a compass. We were debating earlier what to call it because yep. I have drawn it from a compass I saw in a museum. Yes. Um, and the reason I included it, I wanted some kind of mandala or moon, something like that. But this one almost looks like a clock face with the numbers that go around, but then there's almost random numbers at the bottom. Okay. And I thought, well, that's what happens to time once you've been eating your scaly cap juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, time just flies and gets right. all... You know. OK. It all comes back to that toadstool juice, yeah. doesn't it? Um, we've got the crown on there. We've got... Is that a broomstick? Or no, it's a, like no, a, it's a scroll. No, it's a, so it's got the claws and the little branch oh, the so branch. that he, so that he can be you. sitting if you want him to be. Oh, I like that. There you go. Three. Oh, that's, that's good. Oh, and you've also got, um, oh, it's, it, it works perfectly also you've got with Christopher Crowe as well. As yeah, so one of previously your... we've had Christopher yeah. Crowe on and a lot of the elements uh, within that and Tessie Tawny Owl, there's um, moons and things like that in there and they all work together because obviously they're all hand drawn. We have to have a little think person. about what we can call that compass <laughs> there. It's got uh, it's got a little bit of a Harry Potter sort of uh, feel to it, hasn't it? Northern Lights, you know, the Philip Pullman thing with well, the compass uh, I can't and the owl. What Derek came up with earlier, yeah. it was something really random. As long as I it wasn't rude, that's well, the, uh, the important Derek, thing. Isn't it? It is Derek, though, isn't it? There you go. There's our owl <laughs> sat on top of our uh, compass there as an example. And actually, the backing that I had there on the uh, stamps was another example. Look at that. There we go. So this one, the, the one that you've just put down was done by Julie. Yes. Uh, one of my craft club members. And this one that you've got now was by Susie. And she's never done embossing before. Okay. So I was showing her how to do the heat embossing. and. Um, That's this effect here, is it? Oh, no, this is this effect yeah, on so the actual we, owl. Yeah, so we stamp black on black and yep. then embossed in clear. Yep. So it gives it that sheen. And then she went in with a small brush um, with some gold paint to bring out all the detail. Oh, yeah, look at that. And when you get it under the lights, that's really good. I like that. That's the A5 stamp set, the Midnight Traveller, 1599. New today. A lot of this is uh, new. Now, moving on, we've got an A6 book kit here. We've only got one option left of this, and that's the silver. The gold's gone. But we've still got the silver, and look, and it's also limited stock as well, the silver, so you will have to um, get your skates on for this one. Now, wh what are we getting with this? This is, this is going to make a book. Or have you got everything here to make the book? Yes. Well, you just need things, you know, normal things like some glue and, um, 
you know, a knife and things like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everything else is in there. You've got the pages, the covers. You've got a choice of covers as well because you've got four prints there. So you can choose which pattern you want on there. Um, you've got, as me and Derek were discussing earlier, you've got your dangles. Your dangles? Everyone needs what, a dangle. they, what are your dangles? <laughs> So oh, well, this is like your a, dangles. Yeah, you make like a tassel that goes on the edge of the book. Is that one yeah, of your I... toadstool ju uh, juice? Uh, <laughs> no, I think we should stay off of that names, now. Is that, the, is that the name everyone gives them? <laughs> um, is this, this, is, this is what you're talking about. You need to get some glue as well to go with it. This isn't yeah. part of it, is it? This is just no, you know, that's a suggestion. not part of it. Yeah, yeah a suggestion um, as to what you would need to put yeah. this all together. But you've got all of the elements here. You've got thick book boards. You've got uh, waxed binding thread as well, metallic corner stickers, assorted beads, uh, recycled cartridge paper pages. You've got lots of different materials and media yeah. as well. Yeah, and I like um, different textures. Well, we've got to see what it looks like when you put it all together. So I'm assuming you've got instructions with this, Jamie. Yes. Oh, thank <laughs> yes. goodness for that, because that would be a bit of a tough <laughs> ask. Um, OK, that is what it produces. Look at that. It's beautiful. This, you've got all the dangles yes. on the dangling off the side there. These are the actual, uh, this is the binding, so is that what you call that, just the binders? Yeah, so yeah. Um, after my second demo, I'm going to show how to um, do the binding of right. this and one of the other books as well. So it's a, it's a new binding technique that I'm bringing today, yeah. uh, which is a what I'm calling a buttonhole bind. So it's different to any book kits I've done before, so I will show how to bind it a little bit later. That's lovely, isn't it? And there's just uh, that one as well is another example that we've got there. It's the same uh, same principle. You can make all of these using that book binding kit there, but we do only have the silver one left, and that's limited as well. Uh, six nine seven six seven nine. Now we've got an A five book kit here. This is a collage that we have. Um, now this one is sixteen ninety nine for this. Um, same again, but collage style here. Yeah, so you get the instructions of how to bind the book. Yeah. Um, but then decorating the cover is kind of up to you. So you've got the elements to do it with. You need some paint, um, okay. but you've got your collage papers there. My thinking behind it was a lot of people like kind of grungy mixed media or, or stamping, that sort of thing. So you can combine that now with the bookmaking. Okay, you've got pl uh, plastic capsules in here as well. You've got ribbon, yarn, faux leather, fabric panels for the spine. Um, I've got an example of what this will make as well. With, uh, is this right? Is this, is, uh, yep. this yep. is an example using the, the collage so here? I, yeah, I did that one. Um, so if people didn't see the first show, I used the same technique on this one. So if you go back on Rewind and watch the first show, yep. um, and I'll show you in a second where I got to, I use the same technique to decorate this book, but it's just in book form rather than picture form. <laughs> wow, that looks good. Oh, and this is... Um, yeah, just a couple of other examples of, you know, the direction you could go in. Yep. Look at that. That's great, isn't it? That's... Um, it's like, a, uh, like an old leaves effect, isn't yeah. it? Like a fossilised yeah, leaf. Yeah, so you've got almost. some of the pattern coming through from the collage papers behind. Yep. Then you put in your colour on, and then once you've got your faux leather binding on there as well, it, it brings it all together. Love it. Thanks very much, Janie. Right, moving on, we've got the, uh, another A6 book kit for you here. This is Garden Magic. Twelve ninety nine for this one. And this is, uh, again, you're getting all of the... Um, the patterns and the designs that you would need. You're getting all of the, the ephemera that you'd need to, to add on to the spine as well. You're getting all of your dangly bits. <laughs> Janie <laughs> puts it there and your corner pieces as well. All your fabrics. The colours may vary slightly with the fabrics, but you get the general gist. It's a it's a cornucopia, isn't it, of um, lots of different bits and knickknacks yeah. and things that you can pop together. It works really well. You can get a metal key. Ooh. Yeah, so this is the technique of binding on this one is the same as the other book kits that I've been bringing um, over the past year, um, just a different colourway, basically. There's the key. Ooh, I've got the key. Um, and we've also got all this paper down here and we've got the fabric, uh, and it makes this, this one here. Yes. That's lovely. Twelve ninety nine. this uh, book kit here, with, with the instructions as well. You can see Garden Magic. That's what it looks like when you put it all together here but you can presumably just change it around a little bit to suit yeah so you've got the printed papers there so you've yeah. got a choice of what you want for the front and the back cover and the inside but yeah. then you've got extra elements that you can um, fussy cut out and put throughout the pages yeah I like that there we go 
Really, really cute. I like that. Uh, that's our A6 book kit. It's Garden Magic 1299 468 273. And now we have a deluxe binding book kit. This is A5 sized here. Oh, there's lots of stuff to root through here. Um, oh, all sorts. Uh, we've got a bigger <laughs> key. I'm really excited about the keys, as you can tell. I don't know why. It's like, you know, the keys to me are like, it's like toadstool juice to you by the looks of it, Jane. Um, we've got the faux leather here as well. We've got the metal corners. We've got uh, a meter of chunky gold cord as well. Look at that. We've got dark ice bronze card. Um, we've got all sorts with the instructions as well. And what's the idea be behind this one? This is a green and gold theme, yes? Yeah, so this is the first time I've done a fabric covered book. Yeah. Um, so the reason it's deluxe is you've got the fabric, you've got the extra bits for your dangles and it's got really chunky metal corners for the book. Um, so you can get a real oldie worldy look with this if you want to. Yeah, I really like this. Oh, I like the, uh, you've got a label here, Explore, but I guess you could put someone's name in that as well. Yep, no problem yeah, you could put whatever whatsoever. you want. But yeah, there are some wordings <laughs> printed out in your ephemera bits. Oh, look at that. And sides as well. You've got, has uh, this all come with it as well? Yep. All the yep. All the self is it all self adhesive? This no, it's not self adhesive, but um, on, yeah? yeah, you've got prints in there so you can just cut and stick. Ah, yeah. You cut it out, yeah, okay. You pop it all through like this. What about these tabs as well? Yeah, those are printed as well. Just again, cut them oh, out and, like and stick them. There you go, pop that all together there, and it's uh, beautifully bound together here with all of our, our uh, dangly. Oh, is that that's like a little grape that is on the side there? What's that one there? Just looking at it, can you see that? Is that a grape? Or I have I just lost from the plot? Here. What, which what one is that? You're looking at? <laughs> what that? Look, can you see that from there? You can't see. It's a bead. Oh yeah, well, it's, yeah. well I've tried to pick <laughs> out colours of beads and different textures and everything. Right. But yeah, it no, it's, a grape, not, a, it's not a grape. I mean, you can tell that the grapes in my house have really gone off, can't you? you can yeah. just a bit shri Don't eat those grapes. My grapes are shriveled <laughs> up. Don't ever come to my place and ask for the grapes. That's uh, <laughs> that's the lesson we've learnt there. Uh, 604 405 for the A5 Deluxe Buttonhole Binding Kit. Now, now we're moving on to our Digi Kit. Now, you can see things here, but through the miracle of science and technology, what you're actually getting in a weird way is absolutely nothing. But, that, but, don't, but don't let that me put you off with that. It's not actually nothing. What you're getting is it's going to be downloaded to you. It's, it's 70 JPEG images, isn't it? Yes. But the yes. beauty of that is you can then print it all off yourself. First of all, it's going to be cheaper. So getting the download, it's 6 dollars yeah. And then you can print it all off yourself, put it all together. So you're just not getting the physical uh, the media, if you like. But the best bit about this, I think, is once you've got it, you can then print more off. You can print as yeah, many as you want. Yeah, you've got it forever. Yeah. And I was saying earlier, depending on your printer, I mean, printers these days can print all sorts of things. So you can yeah. start printing on fabric and tissue and different weights of paper. And then I was saying double printing as well. So if there's a pattern that you like, print that send it back through your printer and put the wording on so you can start to customise it like that. Oh. Um, but yeah, you're printing what you want when you want it. Basically. So you can actually take the image, the JPEG image, and then add bits and Photoshop things and bits and well, bobs no, onto but it if yourself? You, so there's a, you probably won't find it because there's so many in there, but there are a couple of sheets with wording yeah. on there. So what I mean by that is you can print off a background, Ooh. take it out your printer, Sorry. put it back in, and then print the wording. So then you've got a wording with a pattern background. Does that make sense? Yes, that does make yes. sense now, yes. <laughs> there you go. So you, you print all of these images out yourself and that's going to save you... I mean, I, I guess the headline is it's going to save you a bit of money, is it not? Is it like the... Yeah, uh, and it's, it's the fact that you can... You know what it's like when you get um, paper packs? There's some you like, there's some you're not so keen on. Well, mm. with this, you can just print all the ones that you like, which yes, obviously is going to be yeah. all of them. But, <laughs> yeah. but you know, you, you print what you want when you want it, and it's always there. It's an endless resource. So if, like Janie, you like toadstool juice, you could just go for the, <laughs> go for the toadstools. <laughs> um, yeah, I like that. So you can, it's, it's almost like you can just pick and choose what you yeah. want. It's almost like a little pick and yeah. mix. Uh, that's the Digi Kit. You can download that. So you won't be getting anything you can physically hold. It'll be, it'll be sent to your account. 699-968-023 is the item code on that. And you'll be getting 70 images that you can uh, print off. Right. Oh, that was a lot, wasn't it? It's all on the website. Have a little look. There's all of Janie's original stamps. And if we scroll along there, you're getting all of your pictures that you can click on. You're getting all of the prices there. You can add them all onto your basket as well. Oh, there's the Garden Magic. 
uh, buttonhole binding there. Then you can take a little quick look at that. Oh, it's gone! Oh, we can't see it because it's just sold oh. out. Okay. Oh, the silver option's gone <laughs> as well as the gold option, Jane. Okay. So, I mean, do you want me to click on anything else and make that go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of it. Let's yeah, go. Yes. <laughs> what else should we click on? Oh, there's the original uh, collage bundle as well. It's all very popular, all very busy. And, oh, there's the digi kit. So you click that, you, uh, you add that to your basket, and then you get the, the images sent to your yeah, account. Yeah, so when you check out, go back into your account, and it will be sitting there for you to download. Oh, So basically, that's cool, depending it? on your download speed, you yeah. could have it by the end of the show and start printing off. Isn't it, technology you know, marvellous? It's wonderful. It really is. I'll tell you what else is wonderful, what you're about to make for us, I suspect. Because, oh, good uh, link. <laughs> you're going to uh, put together, are you going to put together a book well, for us? This, to start with, yeah. this is what I started in the first show. Yeah. So I just wanted to finish it off to show people the direction that we were heading. Yes, please. So we used the uh, collage bundle to do the background and did some stamping. And we got as far as doing Phileas and one of the toadstools. Okay. okay? So I'm just going to show you now the um, pen is dry. We can go in with some white um, gel pen. Yep. Just to highlight Just to little areas. Things like yeah. his eyes and yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So um let's put a little bit on that toadstool. And then what I did between the um shows I just cut out a few more so that we can start piecing together the picture. Okay, so I just wanted to show people a finished project basically rather than leaving it half done. So just a little bit of the quick stick on the back. So I'm going to position the frog first and I'm going to have him coming off of the bottom. So the board in the collage kit is A4 but I've just cut it down to a square and then the idea being that I'd punch holes in the top um, to hang it. And then all I've done with these as well is just put a little bit of black ink around the edges so you don't get that little white halo of the, um, of the paper where I've cut it out. So we've got three toadstools. Just there. We've got a happy little snail. Now he could go at the bottom. Actually, yeah, let's put him there. Frogs and snails don't need to social distance, they're fine. <laughs> I think, are you sure about that? Have you read yep. the small print? Yep. Mm. They're fine. Okay. Trust you on that. And some scaly cap juice. And I'm, not, I'm not saying the toading the line <laughs> pun, Marcus. That's terrible. It's terrible. I will not be repeating that one. <laughs> uh, uh. And let's give it, I'm just going to ignore that. I'm just going to yeah, gloss over do. that. Please do. Feel free to ignore. <laughs> We're just going to put his little bow tie on because I think he's at a party so you know he's got to dress up and then what I did was I stamped out some of the words uh, just onto some craft card so it begins with magic very nice and but a really good night out begins with toadstool juice. I've got to get <laughs> hold of some of this stuff. <laughs> really it's probably best you don't. No. <laughs> well, what kind of proof there is on that one? It's probably 98% or something, isn't it? It's, like, <laughs> it's got to be. It begins with magic and a happy frog. Does toadstool juice make you a fun guy to be with? Yeah? Yeah? No, moving on. Yeah? No. No? No. Not really. No. <laughs> Let's try harder. See, it just, it, it, it's not my fault. Oh, it's not much room for jokes. Did you just say that? Oh, dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh, it's, it's getting late, Janie. It's getting late. <laughs> Sa save me from the puns. Now, d that, this is this brings it all out, doesn't it? The uh, yeah. the edges here. This is this is what makes it. Uh, yeah, just a little bit around the edge, and he's good to go. Like I said, you would just punch a couple of holes in the top, or equally, if you wanted to, I mean, that could be a book cover. Yes. If oh you yeah. want to make it into a book, so. That's lovely. Like that. There we go. Lovely. So I'm right. going to move on to some binding. Okay. 
Now, I've pre-prepared a little bit just because the glue has to be dry before doing the binding. Yep. So I'm doing this on the deluxe book, okay. but it's the same for any of the buttonhole bindings, obviously, that people have already bought. Um, you get the instructions, but it is easier to, to see someone do it. Okay. So I'm just going to show you. This is kind of traditionally what a buttonhole binding is, right. where you would have a cover like this, and yeah. you basically cut out a buttonhole and it binds from the top around right just okay. run that one by me again because i'm i'm, I'm very hard <laughs> of understanding so how is that a buttonhole because the buttonhole i would expect to be a little round circle yeah well yeah. basically the hole if yeah. you think of a buttonhole and then the way that the stitching goes around the edge almost like a blanket stitch okay around the edge of a buttonhole so that's yes. that's where it gets its name from. okay that makes so sense now you could literally just have a cut out for the spine you could have it coming across like this or have mm. it in any shape right um, but basically you've got one hole there one hole there yeah and the bind comes over the top okay what i've done and this was my concept book, this is when I was putting it together, I wanted to have the faux leather straps across, so instead of wrapping over the end, mm. it wraps over the strap, and then you've got like a link stitch here. Oh, yeah. Okay? So it's the first time that I've brought this type of book. Um, oh, it's a, it's a sneaky peek behind the, the, <laughs> behind the curtain there. We've seen the concept <laughs> book. Yes. That's going to be worth a fortune one yeah, day. Yeah, and then I, I yeah, I write like little measurements on there and ideas and Shopping I was going to, yeah, <laughs> I was going to put paper in here to conceal that, but then realised yeah. that didn't work. It needs to be fabric, so right. this is kind of how it how it gets worked out. Yeah. What so was that? I just saw a note there saying never work with Richard again. I never, I didn't quite catch you that. that. To Who's see that? that guy? You no. Yeah, you weren't supposed to see that. Oh. Oh, OK. So you also <laughs> just drop down your thoughts as you're going through yeah, any given hour. Yeah, that's a different Richard. Oh, that's a different one. That's a different Richard. Yeah, that's God, someone I, I met I feel really earlier. sorry for him, whoever yeah. he is. I know. Blimey. Loser, right? <laughs> yeah, dear. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> so yeah, carry on. <laughs> moving on. Yes, please do. Yeah. In this cool. kit, Poor in Richard. the deluxe kit, mm. you get... So I normally put um, heavyweight cartridge paper yeah. in the book kits. What I decided to do was put a 90 GSM white paper yep. because yep. also in the instructions it tells you how to tea stain your paper. Okay. Which is what I've done here. Just the old, tea the stain old the classic paper. way of making paper look yeah. old, right? So it, it makes it look like an, a good old book. It really does. I think that's great because I used to do that to, as a kid at school for school projects, but yeah, it's great it's to see great. Cra crafters actually use it, it as well. It is great, yeah. yeah. So basically the process, I mean, I do it in big batches um, yeah. because often it would go into kits um, and then I bake it in the oven and then I iron it. It's like the only thing that I iron really. <laughs> That's funny. We talked about <laughs> this earlier, actually, about ironing. <laughs> yeah, and I now heard I know. You actually, we said yeah. no one irons anything anymore, but now we know. <laughs> yes, Jamie we iron paper. irons paper. Yes, I put that on that's Facebook. Come out of the oven. I'm ironing paper yeah, that's been that baked. Yes. Dragged tea bags across. <laughs> yes. You're, you're not weird, honestly. No, it's normal. It's it completely is normal. normal. Yes. yes. Normal anyway. in Somerset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where I come from. Yeah. yeah, this is completely normal. So also in the kit, um, you get some tags, um, pockets, some wording. That's the tabs that you saw on the on the edges of the pages. And then these are the elements that you can cut out to go into your facing page okay. and then to fussy cut. OK, right. yeah. So what I did, first of all, was covered the board separately in fabric. OK, now this might seem silly, but I'm going to cover a small bit just to show you. Right. That if you're using the smooth stick. Yeah. So this is a book binding glue. Um, formulated for fabric to board, paper to board. Okay. Right. Oh, it's so got a very particular construction to it that yeah, helps so it's, attach it's, paper to. It's got oh. a low water content. Um, if you were to use a PVA and you're putting paper to board, very often it will buckle. You'll get little bubbles. It takes longer to dry. Okay. And also attaching fabric, it'll often bleed through the fabric. Okay. Ah. So the reason I'm doing this tiny little demo is just to show you how little glue you need right. okay so just imagine this is the book board mm -hmm. I tend to put on more than I need to start with to make it easier to spread yeah and then you're pretty much scraping oh, it off like wiping a window yeah? yeah so it's clear so there's hardly any on there right and that does it but does it? that oh. will attach your fabric oh, and you it don't won't need much of it no and it won't bleed through great yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to show people that because if you're using the smooth stick for the first time, mm. um, chances are you'll put too much on. 
is literally put it on and almost scrape it off. It got should, you. Yeah, if it's still white, you've got too much on there. Right, so you're going to do that on, a, on the big version now? I've already done it oh, because, I see. because these needed to be stuck yeah. before I do the binding. Oh, okay. okay. So what I've done is I've covered the boards yeah. and then on the inside, so you've got your metallic bronze card, which I'll tell you, uh, tells you the dimensions in the instructions to mm -hmm. cut down and cover. Um, the spines on the outside and then the fabric scraps go on the inside. So that is your hinge. So that's the bit that needed to dry before I could do the binding, okay? So this could be your white paper, but in this case, I've tea stained it just to show you the difference, okay? So you've got 24 sheets of paper. Um, we fold them into fours. So when I do um, the other books, I always tell you to fold each piece of paper separately because we have quite a stack of paper. Mm. This is only four sheets, so you can fold them in one and just burnish it down with your bone folder, okay? okay? And that's what we call a signature. So you've got, I think it's six, one, two, three, four, five, six signatures make up your book, ah, okay? okay? Each section's called a signature. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. And then if you were binding this into a hard um, book, you know, with a, f with a full spine, then mm. that would be your text block. Right, okay. Okay, so we need to know where to put the holes for the binding. So the right. easiest way is yes. to stack it in, make sure it's all nice and neatly stacked, and then you draw a line either side of the faux leather, okay? Just make sure it's on each of the signatures. Okay. Okay. Now we can take the book board away and now we just need to pierce the holes. Okay, so we try to keep them in order in which we've marked them. Okay. okay? So all you need to do is pierce through your holes, making sure they come all the way through. Yeah, holding all the papers okay. together. Yeah. So that came from the top. I'm going to put it over like that. Okay, so we, like I said, we try and keep them in the same order just so that your piercing holes all stay in line. Okay. In theory. Yeah. But when we're on live TV, that may not happen. <laughs> I've got bad news for you, you're on live TV. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so uh, there's that. <laughs> we, it's we got a really luxurious look to it, this, hasn't it, once it's all. Uh, yeah, I put think the, the gold print that's in the. and, and the. The shade of green as well. Yeah. I just yeah, it just goes and really. And it seems quite durable as well. Oh yeah, so the yeah. the board is two point two mil thick. Yeah. So it's a good heavyweight book board. Mm. Right. So sorry, this is a bit boring, but That's um, right. I didn't want to pre-prep this bit because I, I wanted to show you. I was you thinking, how I was looking through it and just thinking what you could do. Like, this <laughs> would make a great journal, wouldn't it? Or, a, or obviously a notebook or, or for popping memories in. But I think it just it, journal for me. Yeah. I mean, um, or something to do with your garden as well. Like if you're um, a, a bird watcher, maybe, or if you were just like a gardener, Cocktail you wanted to list all your plants. Recipes for your recipes. <laughs> yeah. For your toadstool juices. Yeah. <laughs> Right, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what was that? I'm getting some, I'm sure I'm getting bad puns fed down to me. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Right, and then yeah. you get this bag which is full of lots of lovely items. What we need to start with is the binding thread. So this is pre waxed. Yep. And of course, it's going to, in the instructions, I t say to measure off a metre to start with, but I don't have a metre rule, so just bear with me. <laughs> It's all right. That's funny, isn't it? It's like we must be roughly. absolutely surrounded in this building by loads of meter <laughs> rules, but we just don't know where they are because <laughs> yeah. it's just a complete nightmare finding anything, isn't it? See, that's the thing. When yeah. I do it at home, I've actually got one stuck to yeah, the table yeah. for when I measure everything off for kits, so it's uh, it's easier. There's one in the office, apparently. If that's any help. No, it's fine. <laughs> if we run out, I'll just tie another bit on there. Yeah. Right, so I'm hoping that I can get the angle for you to see. I seem to just have loads of stuff everywhere, which is standard for me. So <laughs> we've got all the folds facing away from us. Yeah. And I'm taking from the top, because if you remember, when I 
drew the um, the lines, this was the bottom one. Right, okay, yeah. So, because Great. I stacked them over. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's not, yeah. so I'm going to start in the centre and I'm going to go through this hole here. And I need to leave enough that I can tie it off. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of kind of flipping backwards and forwards. So I'm, I hope that you can see it. Right. So I then wrap around this spine. Okay. And back through. Of course, I'm trying to do it so you can see, and now I can't see. Right. So I'm going to do it like this. Wrap around that one, and then back into this hole. It is easier when you're in your own home and you yeah. just, and you know you haven't got people watching just you. Just do it wherever you feel comfortable. We'll 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 grab well, it. We'll we'll find it. But, right. Um, do, why why don't you tie off that the bit at the beginning so that it doesn't pull through? Is there a reason for that? Because I'm going to tie it off now, ah, okay. which will then tighten that around. So you know I wrapped right. it around the leather. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to tie that off now. With a double knot. I was just a bit over eager there, wasn't I? I just uh, <laughs> I should have waited. Just. And then I'm going to pull the knot down to the bottom. Okay. So I pulled that tight. And then I'm going to go back through this hole. So I end up on the outside. Okay. So I'm going to tip this up, so you can see that basically we've wrapped around that. Yes. And we've come back out of that first hole. OK, so now we need to join the second one. So we're binding one side at a time. OK, so open up again, bring this one over. And now I'm going to go back into this yeah. top hole. OK. Oh, oh, I've got stuff everywhere. Pull it through. Into the other hole. Into the other hole. Yeah. Through the buttonhole. Ah, uh, yeah. yes. Pull it tight. And Same this is again. the bit that you, I don't know how close you can get on the overhead. Yeah. Whether you can see it, because obviously it's dark. So when we wrap around, yep. what we need to do, this little stitch here, mm -hmm. that's gone from the bottom signature to the next one, we loop under that. Okay. Yep. So we loop under and pull. Okay, so we're pulling that tight. Right. So these two are now joined together. Yeah. And then we repeat the process again. Ah. So the next one comes on. So I'll show you a couple more times. Yeah. Through the hole. Pull that through. Through the hole. Through, down through the other one. Down through the other one. Yeah. Just reminded me of tying a knot at yeah. uh, Cub Scouts. Through the buttonhole. Yeah. Pull it tight. Yeah. Oh, she says. And then you find that stitch that's gone from one signature to the other. Link through it and pull. Okay, so basically you're attaching each signature to the next one. Right. Okay. So the so the, so the signature is not attached. Each, the, the, the ones in the middle aren't actually attached to the the book covers. So the ones on the end they're, are. The other ones are they're, attached. Well, to they're the they're attached to um, the faux leather. Yeah. Because obviously they're wrapping it. And what you're doing is basically attaching each signature to the next one. Um, but like you said, it's not attached to the outside of the book, as in, you know, when you open up, say, like a novel. Yes. Your inside. So that facing page there yep. would be stuck to that board. Right. I've got you. Which isn't here. But the, the ideal thing with this type of bind is it's a lay flat book. So it's ideal for sketchbooks, or if you're doing like a double page layout, yeah, it is laid flat. Yeah, that can be really flat. annoying, can't it, when the pages are springing up? We yeah. have to fold them down or crease it in, yeah. the, in the centre there. So that's, uh, that's really nice. It gives you that uh, bit of give, doesn't it, where you can turn it over yeah. both sides and completely lay it out flat. Um, let's have a little look at the stamps while you're um, going through yep. the rest of those signatures, yep. shall we? Um, now, let's have a look here at Phileas Frog. Just Phileas Frog here. On the end, we've got uh, Phileas Frog and his friends here. You can get that one on its own for fifteen ninety nine. The uh, item code is four zero eight two eight eight. Phileas has got his uh, three uh, smiling snails there with his necktie and bead necklace, and you can put together some really lovely, whimsical scenes with this stamp set. 
and uh, have a good smile with that one. We like that's from the pen to paper range there. And pop them all together with our, uh, all our toad stalls and our, and our grass, uh, grassy knolls we've got there. 16 stamps you're getting in total. That's a lot, isn't it? 16 stamps for 15 99 408 288 for uh, that. And that's Phileas Frog and his friends. It's new today on the craft store. Also new, uh, which you can get uh, on its own here, is our words uh, stamp set here. This is words volume one. So sparkle said the was were. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> or real rain star sun with wonder. You can you can put all together all sorts of bonkers sentences, <laughs> or you could just actually just take the words on their own. Um, hope, happy, uh, little moonlight, mystery, all the different fonts there as well. Yeah, Janie, like that. Because uh, you can obviously put them all together to make phrases. Yes. And I, I wanted all the different fonts, so it looks like it's purposely put together. I didn't want everything just in. Because I a love to bring the dancing font. daisy frog on an adventure with Why blessings, not? that's what I like to do. And Why so not? if I wanted to do that, I could do that with because Words Volume 1. Because the moon one. told you to. Yes, because <laughs> the moon told me to do it. And because of that excessive toad's tool juice that I <laughs> had last night. Um, so you can put all of that together there. Those are all the sentiments and you can get that individually as well. 12.99 for that, 932.251. But if you did want them both together, you can get it as a bundle with an extra saving. Look at that. You'd be saving three pounds. It's twenty-five ninety-eight if you get them together. So you get Phileas Frog and Friends, and you get the words Volume One. So you can really create a, a lovely cover to a book there, or you could create a, your own uh, card or your own picture to put on the wall with the sentiment attached to it as well. Pop it all together. Five three two. 029 is your item code for that one. Now, have you finished all the signatures? Yeah, well, what I'm going to, well, we won't have time to do the second side, no. but I just wanted to show you at the end. So when you get to the last signature, obviously yeah. this point is when we would normally go into the next one. So we go back into the same hole, like that. And then we just need to tie it off again. So you just put your needle underneath, and if you pull it out like that, it tightens the last stitch. And then I like to just do a second one. Oh, she says the needles come out. Just do a second knot. And then what I would do is tuck that under and cut off the excess. So I say to you to cut off a metre for each bind. So you've got this bit of extra because I don't want people kind of struggling to tie it at the end. You haven't quite got enough. But then that will go in with the other elements for your dangle because some of your beads need that cord to hang on to, to, hang on to it, yeah. because of the size of the hole that's in yeah. it. OK, so that ties it together. Yeah. So just imagine that the other side is bound as well. OK. I just think that that looks yeah, really that's neat. Great. Really and also, if you wanted to, say you've got the Digi Download, yep. and you, you could print an extra page for each signature that yep. wraps around it, and then you can see a glimpse of the pattern uh, through the spine. Yeah. Like so that. that's, that's another way of doing it. And then the only other thing with this book I want to show you is mm. you get really chunky metal corners oh, to go like on this really one. I really like these corners. Okay. It just adds that, that, that well, extra I, special touch. I got the extra chunky ones because you've got 2.2 mil board, mm. then you've got fabric going over it, and then you've got the card on the inside as well. Yeah. So what I would often do is drop a little bit of glue just inside, pop it over like that. I love it. It makes it look like something from the Middle Ages, yeah. doesn't it? Like a huge spell book from a, a fantasy yeah. novel. Yeah. Well, that, that's, that's the thing with if you tea stain the paper as well, it yeah. just gives it that, that oldie worldy effect. And then all you're doing... Oh, all you're doing is, is just clipping it on is, by using yeah. it, squeezing it on. Yeah, just, just squeezing it down. Some people hammer them. Yeah. But I think you've got less control over it. Hmm. I suppose so you, you can just also damage them a little bit as well yeah. if you're hammering them, but... So then what you might just need to do is push these edges in. And then, obviously, that just... I think it just finishes the it look. It does finish it off really nicely, doesn't it? It just... Uh, You've got a cabochon that can go in the middle and also 
you've got a book plate You could put whatever too. you want in that as well, can't you? You so? could. I mean, you could use this for another project. What I've done on the um, finished sample is I just coloured it with some brown and some green and mm. then put a bit of gold gilding wax on it. Yeah. And then there's some elements in the kit that are pre-designed in the right size. And perfect size as well, Or you yeah. can cut out anything that you want to go in there. Okay. Yeah. Although so I'm actually thinking you could put someone's name in that uh, the yeah. little post boxy bit and then in the actual locket you could put yeah. someone's picture. And yeah, it's you a, could. And it's a journal, yeah, couldn't it? It's a diary. It. Yeah. yeah. That's what I love with these kits is obviously I do the instructions and everything, but I love for people to put their own spin on it and mm. use things in a slightly different way. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to let you uh, move on onto yep. your next thing. And whilst you're doing that, I'm going to show everybody the full kit in all its glories, the green and gold. Uh, deluxe buttonhole binding book kits there. That's what you're getting and blimey, it's loads. Uh, you're getting all of the material that you would need to put that together. You've got uh, tags, tabs, motifs and pockets. You've got craft card. You've got 90 GSM paper, lot to A4 size of that. You've got a metal book plate. You've got the instructions to put all this together, of course. Uh, you've got the book binding needle. You've got chunky gold cord, a spine cord. You've got a, a green and gold fabric cover panel, which is the, the, the important bit, I guess. And this is what it looks like when you put it all together. Um, the finished version here, it's got all these tabs as well on the side. And uh, what Janie's done here is put the garden magic uh, design in there, which as we saw earlier, just fits perfectly inside it. It's all been decorated and uh, colored in. Look at that, there's the, the corner edges there that uh, just bring it all together. There's the binding. We can see all the signatories, or the signatories, the signatures, I should say, on the inside there. It's all been divided up. And then we have all of the dangly bits <laughs> on the side here, which uh, just really adds that extra to it. And then inside, you can decorate it with all of the, uh, the fussy cut pieces here and uh, just glue those in. It just adds adds that extra to the theme running throughout. Oh, do you know what? I've just noticed it at the bottom there. I didn't even notice that. We got the key. Didn't even see yeah, that. Yeah, I, I did it as a bookmark. Yeah. Oh, a bookmark. Yeah. yeah so I've, nice I've touch. attached it to the back cover. Yeah. And then obviously you can, you can put it through whichever. The page problem you want. with having a key there, it instantly makes you think there's something to unlock. So I just be going <laughs> over well. it, thinking, how do you get in? <laughs> but um, oh, there you go. It's a suggestion that it's a, there's a secret to be kept inside of this book. Perfect for a journal or for a diary. But what fun to have actually made it yourself. Yeah. You know, you to, to, to write in it, but also to know that you put it all together yourself with, yeah. with your help, of course, Janie, and the instructions well, that you I get with it. I think it looks like the way that the bind is done, I think looks really professional. But mm. you've seen, I mean, I, I did it quickly and on live TV. Yeah. I mean, I know I've done it a few times, but. Um, but you can take your time on this, is what you're yeah. saying, and just get it, you know, just yeah. right, just how yeah. you like it. Yeah, love that. There you go, 24.99 for that, 604.405 is the item code if you would like the book binding kit here in green and gold. Now, you've got about nine minutes left, Janie. Okay. What do you want to do in nine minutes? Right, let's work with the owl, the midnight mm. traveller. Okay, Ooh, midnight so traveller. On um, some of the samples you've got there, I think all of them have got the wings attached. So I thought I would show you how to do just a simple picture without the wings on. Okay, so this is the bit that is... Sometimes there are things in stamp sets that you might look at and think, well, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> but this is the brand Well, I thought it was a broomstick, claws. and then what did yeah, I think? It was well, one of those oldie worldy scrolls. Yeah. But, so... Yeah. If anyone hasn't done masking before, um, basically, if I stamp that and then stamp the owl straight over, obviously the owl is going to go over the top of it. Okay? Oh, okay. So you start with the thing that is forefront. Right. Okay. So all I've done is on some uh, masking paper, I've just stamped the same element oh, and that's cut clever. it out, and then just place that over. That's very clever. So if yeah. I haven't got it exactly right, there might be a little bit of a halo, but we've yeah. got some black pens, so we can we can okay. rectify that if that is the case. Uh, so when you actually stamp the owl behind, he looks like yeah. He looks like he's behind his yeah. feet are forward. I get it. That's good. So. Do you know what I learnt this week? I've discussed this with someone else on the on the craft store in the last couple of days because we, we we had another owl design on something. Do you know what I learnt this week, Janie? What's that? Owls have really long legs. They do. Have, have you, you not seen, seen the picture? You, yeah. 
It's yeah. really weird. Have a little look online when you get a chance. Because they just look like the little feet coming yeah, out from the bottom. Yeah, because they've got the little diddy yeah. feet at the bottom. But actually, when you lift all the feathers up, they've got these big, long, dangly <laughs> yeah. feet, like a like a muppet, like really long ones. It's really, it's quite. It's once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. So I've stamped that over the top. Take that away. And then he's sat on the branch. Now, it's always handy to have some fine liner black pens. <laughs> um, just in case you miss stamp anything, tiny little bit there. And also you can extend. Actually, let's get a slightly thicker one. You can extend the branch because it's not a tricky bit of the drawing. Uh, this. That's good. So if you buy what sort of a pen is this a, what sort of a marker is that uh, this uh, is a micron pen so these are the okay. pens that i use when i'm when i'm doing all the designs okay. and that will just look naturally like the yeah. stampers so once you continue. color it in yeah um and we'll just do that so it looks like it's the the end of a broken off branch yeah i like it okay you know what? that's the first time it's occurred to me that you can actually continue a stamp with a, with a pen and make <laughs> it uh, make it bigger or add well, bits it's, onto it's it. It's personalising things, and it's not yeah. it's not a tricky bit to draw. It's or literally fitting just it into whatever lines. you pop, popped it onto, and thinking I just want yeah. that to continue to the edge. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah. So we're just going to do some very quick colouring in. Um, I said earlier, I'm not, although I spend hours and hours drawing, I'm not really a colourist and I just like to get the colour in and get it done. Now, I'm going to try something out because I thought that he might look quite nice just in greys mm. with orange eyes. Okay. So I've not tried it before. Might look rubbish, but we'll soon find out, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's a great place to find out live on yeah, air. Yeah, why it? not? I, I always find. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? It'll be a hoot, apparently, is uh, oh. the latest from the, the gallery. Who was that? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> we doing? That, was, uh, that was Emily, our uh, producer. She'd asked me not to name and shame her. <laughs> so I haven't. I haven't named and shamed Emily. <laughs> um. So all I'm doing is going in with a couple of different shades of grey, not 50, just a couple. <laughs> Very good. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's catching. <laughs> <laughs> You're bringing your pun game now, Jane. <laughs> Jane? Yeah. So, um, let's see what. That's a slightly browny one. Like that. How long have we got? Ooh. Just under five minutes. Oh, easy. I'll be finished with time to spare. Jolly good. I'm sure of it. So. Let's go in with some yellow on the eyes. Darken it up just there. And maybe on the beak as well. Because obviously he can be whatever type of owl you want him to be. Because of the patterns in him, mm. he's not actually designed around um, a specific type of owl. He is whatever you want him to be. And apart from the Midnight Traveller, he doesn't actually have a name. So, I've oh, just I'm trying to think of a good name for an owl. Hedwig? Has that been done before? Hedwig? No? Hasn't it? Okay, well that's a good one. Is it? Copyright that one. Do I want to do that? Yeah. Well, I don't uh, do I? Know. Go for it. Okay. I'm sure <laughs> it'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just, again, moving on. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't get a letter from any lawyers <laughs> straight away, <laughs> followed by men in suits turning up and carrying you off somewhere. <laughs> Just a bit of a weird men in suits to carrying me yeah, off. Yeah, maybe not. That was old. <laughs> Forget that last bit. <laughs> do you mean honest? I'm still trying to think of an owl <laughs> pun. Don't blame me. The moon yeah. told me to do it. I know. I'm, str I'm struggling with owls. It's like I'm, I'm actually a bit embarrassed. I can't think of any owl puns. I will think of one in a minute. How much am I struggling? Quite a lot. Oh. That'd be very good. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Even Maddie's in on it now. This is getting him. Oh dear. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Got to bring it now. Got to bring it. Let me think. <laughs> right, just going in with some metallic detail. I'm trying to ignore any of the puns. <laughs> 
too late in the day. Yeah. That looks great though. The, all the colours you've used there, I like that. See, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the highlights. But... You can't just keep repeating the word owl and putting it and saying jack of owl trades. You can't. You've got to start thinking in new stuff and, but, and using the word tawny and things like that. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm on a different level to you guys. Come on. I'm thinking of different types of owl. I'm not just saying owl, owl, owl over and over. Anyone can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back next I'll month. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, you've turned into Arnold Schwarzenegger now. I'll be back. <laughs> that's how he says it. I think that's how he read it in the script, wasn't it? I'll be back. <laughs> Literally uh, just edging uh, it. Doing the old edge. Is that, is that, has that got a name, that technique, putting the like, colouring in the edges? Well, not really. I don't know. No? Mm. I don't know. Now I'm looking for a bit of card to put it onto, but... I'll probably run out of time before I find it. But I just one minute to fifteen to find that card. <laughs> oh, yeah, it'd be, people yeah. be happy if I just spend one minute fifteen looking one for a card. One minute fifteen, that would be good TV, <laughs> wouldn't it? All I want to do is just put it onto some black, so it just shows it off. But you can see just by stamping that simply, how you can get. Um, I don't know which camera you're on as to whether you can see the sheen on it at right. all. But yeah, that's just, and then obviously you could go in with some wording, make up some puns, you know. It's not a, fe it's not a female actress, is it? It's not Andy McDowell. That's no, really bad. That's terrible, isn't it? It's literally the best that's, I could do. And that's it's, the, the thing worst is, I'm trying to do one. two things at once here. I'm trying to do the show, and I'm trying yeah, to think. Yeah, you should maybe not yeah. do that. <laughs> you know what? I'll, ju I'll just stick to doing this, I think, in future. That was absolutely awful from me. I do apologise. Uh, Janie, thank you very much indeed. I've, been, I've enjoyed that. Not The puns, not so much, but the uh, but certainly the book binding. That's been great. Uh, loved all that, and the owl as well. Um, you can get that uh, Midnight Traveller stamp set, of course, 828620, if you would like to get your own stamp set. And... Uh, Puts an owl in 10 seconds, apparently. So I'll just say goodbye now. Thank you, Janie. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs> and I'll be back. Another thing.